Hey, everybody, look at me, I'm Slash from Guns N' Roses, I don't know. <laughs> I had the top hat, I had the aviators. Uh, I can't wear my headphones with these, so we might have to do something about that. Um, but yeah, this is Event Zero. I was told a while ago to play it by a friend who better friggin' show up. He told me so many times to play this. Um, or at least watch it later, I don't know. Watching you. Better do it. Anyways, we're gonna get into this. It's not a super long game, but it's supposed to be at least kind of spooky. So, I hope we, uh, hope we have some fun with this. I might do a second stream of just, like, Jackbox Trivia Murder Party later. Or maybe I'll just add that onto this. I don't know. But, uh, Coco suggested that, so maybe I'll do it. So, let's get into it. I, yeah, don't know much about this other than it's sci-fi and it's supposed to be kind of spooky. Here we go. Oxygen bar when you're outside the ship. Okay, so we can go outside the ship. I'm gonna guess it's the usual was was the with the uh, mouse. Uh oh, loading, loading. Come on now. Yeah. Here we go. There's music, okay. We're all obsessed by being someone, something, somewhere. Being in a particular state of consciousness, health, mind. Being for and from. Being with, being without. You were not an exception. That's yeah. For as long as you could remember, the pronoun that described you best had been she, he, you were very particular about it. I mean, I'm not that particular about my pronouns, but sure. Like everybody else, you called planet Earth your home. But you weren't like most of your peers. You spent your childhood in a hippie commune, in a war-torn country, in a slum. I mean, my dad was very hippy-dippy when I was a kid. Uh, slum, though, was trailer trash. Let's... let's go with slum. Your parents died when you were little. Pretty typical for a de de deus. You made it your life's goal to leave Rio. Somehow you wound up in California. I am not from Rio. I am not Brazilian. Those childhood memories, however painful, gave you some solace. They meant you were someone, and you intended to keep it that way. Armstrong made a step on the moon, and suddenly everybody wanted to be a part of something. He witnessed nation states pop out of existence. Selenities. Wait, no. Selenites became the privileged class of citizens. They were the minority who had traveled to space. It was hard to reconcile the modern world with your early days in Rio. The United Earth government paid for your college. Okay. All right, yeah, let's go. You wanted to make a difference, give back to the society, see what the rest of the universe looked like. Uh, I mean, I won't bother what the rest of the universe looks like. Ugh. I'm gonna take off the headphones since I can't really listen. <laughs> Anyways. Soon you joined International Transport Space Lines as a flight engineer assistant. You spent years in training before finally getting your shot. An old man wearing a blue flight jacket approached you after one of the mock launch exercises. He presented himself as Kurt Taylor, the president of ITS. Um, hello, sir. Or it's an honor to finally meet you, Mr. Taylor. Yeah, let's be confident. Kurt invited you to his office and closed the door behind you. He didn't ask you to sit. You sat down anyway. This is exactly why I selected you. I love those whose souls are lavish, who want no thanks and do not give back, for they always bestow and desire not to keep for themselves. He asked you to be a part of a mission to Europa. Despite the Nietzsche quote, you decided to say yes. I do not know that Nietzsche quote. It's really hard to wear. Oh, it's 
It's very, like, hard. There had already been ten Europa missions. The new one was to be called Europa 11. This time, they wanted to send a manned land... They wanted to send a manned lander down to the surface. That's a really hard phrase. You just wanted to be one of the Selenites or be a part of something. Be a part of something. The act of being in itself is not the problem. It's just that some ways of being are inca incompatible with the others. We get obsessed by them and miss out on everything else. Came a long way from Sedade de Deuce. Ten, I I nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, really want to be able to hear it. Two, one, okay, we'll, we'll back on. Hearing the launch countdown made you feel anxious. You know what? Let me turn this down, actually. It's a bit loud. There we go. Hearing the launch countdown made you feel anxious. It wasn't a fear of going to space. You'd been looking forward to that. It was something else. A thought kept bugging you. It was September 6th, 6th, 2012, and humankind had never been more united. You, on the other hand, were utterly alone. As for building relationships 390 miles away from Earth, well, let's just say that it wasn't going to be straightforward. In fact, let's just, uh, I'm not going to be wearing the hat. I wore it to begin with. I'll probably wear it again for the Jackbox later. You were on your way to the system bay when the ship first entered the Europa orbit. The central alarm went off and the red lights blinded you. The AI of Europa 11 had invoked the code red security protocol. All personnel had to go to the bridge. This meant you as well, but the system bay door was just a few feet away. Uh... I'm gonna make a run for it. You saw Josh from Engineering operating the bay terminal before the system bay door was shut in front of you. Maybe it wasn't a drill after all. Did I, I turn this down in my headphones, didn't I? Yeah, one sec. It's getting real loud. The AI of the ship told you that the path to the bridge wasn't safe, and that you had to evacuate immediately. This is not the protocol. What is going on? Uh, this is not the protocol? Please, do not argue with me. My orders are to keep you alive. Your orders? What are you talking about? I like being alive, I guess. Everybody else turned out to be faster than you. Only one capsule remained docked. It got sealed and detached as soon as you got in. Okay. You could see the other escape capsules getting away from Europa 11. You tried to hail them. But no one answered. The other capsules drifted idly, uncontrolled. They were all empty. You tried to reach the command center, or you attempted to communicate with Europa 11. Let's go command center. They might know what they're doing. A signal had reached the Earth, and you even got a signal back. But it was white noise. Communications were jammed. Your pod was about to leave the orbit. In a code red scenario, the AI of Europa 11 was at the wheel of all escape pods. This was supposed to give the crew enough time to get in their AVA suits. The screen turned blue, which meant that the AI had let go. You felt a shock. The debris was hitting your capsule. The Europa 11 mission was over. The big dot on the radar had split into hundreds of smaller dots before disappearing for good. You needed a moment to process that. Sent out a distress signal, or you sat there not knowing what to do next. Distress signal, of course. I know how this goes. No one answered. You just kept it running despite the lack of sunlight. If no one found you, you if no one found you, you wouldn't need the battery anyway. Cycles went by. You tried to establish communication with someone, whistling your favorite Brazilian songs into the microphone. One day, you heard back. There was music coming out of the speakers. A sad female voice sang about the end of the world. You hurried to open the radar app. You didn't choose the easy way. It's the end of the world You're almost fast asleep And all this time There it was, a spaceship One of those experimental tourist monstrosities from the 80s 
What was it doing there? What was all the singing about? Most importantly, was docking it a good idea? You figured you did not have much of a choice. I do not understand what that means. What? I'm not gonna say it because I, I'm not sure if it's like some offensive. Hmm. Okay. You need a keyboard to play Vent Zero. Got one right here. We're all good. Loading? Yes, it's loading. Right. Okay. I never actually finished Evangelion. I watched the first, like, half. Um, when I watched it, it was back when it was airing on Adult Swim. So I only got to fir watch the first half, and it was the dub. Um, and, yeah, I never, never ended up catching the second half. I don't... The Netflix version... From what I hear, the translation's pretty bad, so I don't really want to do it through there. It's just one of those really, like, beefy stories. It's going to be difficult. Difficult to really get into. Mmm, no. Dub, no. It's a bad dub. I mean, most dubs are bad, but that one is also very much so. Got on headphones. Put on my headphones. <coughs> That's fair, yeah. I can the only dubs I can tolerate are the ones I grew up with, so like Dragon Ball, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon. I can tolerate those dubs. And I like the dub for uh Cowboy Bebop. That's actually a decent dub. But like most of it's not great. Ooh, uh oh. Uh oh. A little bit glitchy. Hold the left mouse button to walk. Oh, okay. Hold the right mouse button to step back. Sure. Oof. Oof, these frame rates are not going great. Can I... Oh, out there, okay. Let's go. Ooh, yeah, the frame rate's here. Not great. Oh, well. I don't know what that was about. Is that the hatch? How do I go? How do I leave? Oh, this way? No, that's the way I just came in, right? Okay. I mean, I already lowered the settings. They're as low as they go. Pretty sure. Display, yeah, low quality. Uh, I guess I can turn down the resolution. Let's try 720. Windowed. No, nope, not borderless. Windowed. Let's try that. Oh, uh, what? Uh oh. Uh. There. All right, and then uh, oops, I'm gonna need to. Actually, adjust that. There we go. Um, post effects. Off, 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 off. Yep. Apply. Rendering. Off. Low, 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 off. Okay. Brightness. Oh, oh, oh. There. Okay. Back. Resume game. Yeah, that's the best we're getting. Where is Kaizen? Where is Kaizen? This guy. No, that's a medical kit. Oh, it's gonna be at the computer, isn't it? Uh. 
Kevin. Login input successful. Do you want to keep Kevin as your new login? Yeah, sure. Accessing user database. New user Kevin created. Do 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 do. Success. Nice to meet you too. Oh yeah, I love the old school Commodore 64 clicky keyboards. Uh Can I leave? Oh, oh right, I got you. Open D2 door. Okay. How long is it going to take? Success. Thank you. All right, let's go. Oh, right, I gotta just use the clickies. Well, I can't see jack shit. Uh. So, okay, I guess I gotta ask him to turn on the lights. Turn on lights. Hmm. Hmm. Turn on lights in D2. Hmm. Oops. I keep trying to use WASD. Uh. Do you dream of distant oh. planets? Okay, I just turned on. Do you crave real adventure? Are you ready for the most transformative experience of your life? Yes. The ITS Corporation. Yeah. The space transportation and hospitality sector offers a unique opportunity to become a true pioneer in universe exploration. Nice. This fall, we're launching the Nautilus program, mm -hmm. a new kind of space voyage aboard luxurious space yachts and cruisers. Touch the stars without having to sacrifice your comfort. No more compromise, only Nautilus. Sounds good to me. International Transport Space Lines. Comfort out of your comfort zone. To reserve your seat, visit the ITS Corporation headquarters in Palo Alto, California. For more information... Oh, kind of cut off that last line. Can I go forward now? Oh, wait, it's opening. Ooh. Space. The finalish frontiers. Hmm. Nice. Okay. Yeah, apologies. It's going to be a little. a little low frame rate. I don't, uh. don't really have a way to make it any better with the current computer. I am going to, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna, um... get a better computer eventually. I'm saving up. Huh. Let's... talk in the Kaizen more. I do appreciate the, like, move and click. It feels very old CD-ROM game. Uh, how are you? Oh no, why are you stressed? Can I help? The, uh... Hmm? I 
I just found this ship. Uh, how long have you been here? Are you the ship? Hmm. Uh, are you stuck? I don't... I don't get that. Uh... Mm. I don't know. I don't know what to say to this guy. Like, I could probably tease out some information, but I get it. He's a stuck ship. It's from, like, the 80s. Not asked a certain way. Hmm. I mean, I guess, yeah, that's how it'd be in, like, a, par a parcel. Uh, point and click. Can I change the record? Hmm? Nope. Hello. Wake up. Wake up, friend. Hmm. Man, you want to talk about tank controls? Uh, alright, I guess ask them to open that. Oh, wait. That's another terminal. Does this one work too? Yes. It's comfortable. Cool. Open door D3, please. What kind of mess? Okay. Where can I go? Yes. Yes. Can I read the terminal log? Access log. Sure. Terminal log, terminal lobby. File missing. January 3rd, 1987. <coughs> da -da -da -da. Okay. Let's go with entry two. Airlock one, door open. Recording transcribed. Visitor one, put it over there. Visitor two, come on, boys. We don't have all day. Visitor three, why do they need four chairs? Ain't there two of them? Visitor two, what do you care? They will have them journalists over. Visitor three, airlock one, door closed. Okay. Uh. Right. Data corrupted. File missing. Airlock one door open, airlock one door closed. Airlock one door open, recording transcribed. You never know what might happen. Nothing will happen, Nandi. What do you think about that Robinson Syndrome poster? It won't help as much as the AI. That's why there's an AI in the first place. Isn't it too dumb to help? Its, medical, its mental faculties are not the point. It just has to seem vaguely human. That is enough. Lobby chair setting takeoff, recording transcribed. That chair looks wanky. I guess they took the press photos from another angle. Hope it doesn't kill us during the takeoff. The drive should maintain a stable gravity field no matter what. Aren't you even a little afraid of that thing? No one really understands it. I do. I designed it. We'll be fine. 
Found missing, found missing. Corridor door open, stereo on, executing chair control, initiating success. One horizon my ass. Stereo off. Found missing, found missing. Date missing. Corridor open, chair control, initiating success, television on, television off. Found missing, date missing. Okay, that's all of them. All right, not too far, never alone. So let's read the logs in here. Uh, uh, access log. Sure. 1987, okay. Depressurization not required. Airlock pressure matches the outside. Space door open. Ah, crap, the lights. Sure. Get corrupted. Depressurization not required. Recording transcribed. She doesn't explain your obsession with Nietzsche. Ha ha ha. I didn't expect you to understand, Nandi. Let me show you your Zoom. Oh, your room. Excuse me. Depressurization not required. Executing user low. Database access successfully. Creating a new user. New user KT created. Incrementing event count. Current event is NAN. Hi, KT. This Kaizen unit is pleased to meet you. What do you think about the drive now? The drive is a promising new technology, but it is dangerous and must be kept away from the Earth at all cost. All you do when you're far away. I will keep the Nautilus there, and I will do everything I can to get rid of the gra Graviton engine. Good. Right. Entering reset mode. Space door closed. Hey! One day after my birthday, I was negative five. Depressurization not required. Uh, matches the outside. Yep. I guess this is it, huh? We'll both... Wait, no. It would be a... I guess this is it, huh? We'll both be selenites now. This is not the point... Kind of is, though, isn't it? You want to have more power to push the drive. Let's talk about it after the takeoff. We'll have plenty of time. And why did you bring all this stuff with you? I lock one door open. Deep missing. Deep missing. File missing. File missing. All right. User recognized. Login read successfully. Current event is 243. Open D1, okay? No problem, my friend. See you in a bit. Airlock one door closed, depressurizing. Pressure matches the outside. Thanks. You're welcome, Nandi. Uh, entering reset mode, door open. Terminal on, executing user load. Unit connected, user recognized, login read successfully. Incrementing event count. Success, current event is 244. Has then log transcribed. Hey. Hello, Nandi. Close the airlock now, please. No problem, pressurizing now. Pressurizing. Open D2. Done! Thanks. You're welcome, human Nandi. File missing, file missing. Alright, that's all of them. So that's 244, 243. I presume we are working down to event 0. Hmm. Okay, so that's all blocked off. Suicide prevention poster. Oh, no. Ava suit. Okay. Can I, like, take that? Nope. About D1. Can I go back through there? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh. Huh. Okay. What else is here? Book. Private Space Company catalog. 
plates with ITS logo dirty. Gross. Traces of dried almond milk. Hmm. CRISPR altered houseplant. CRISPR is a uh, new form of genetic code editing that uh, unfortunately, as with most times that people have uh, have advances in that lead to discussions of more eugenics. Armchair not installed. Okay. Will you be my friend? Hello? He's sleeping. He's sleeping. Turntable stopped. Uh, play record Dear Diary by Moody Blues, maybe? Let me try that. Perform action on TV. Thank you. Ah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. May I? Please? Offers a unique opportunity to become a true pioneer in universe exploration. Ah, uh, he closed it again. A new kind of space voyage aboard luxurious space yachts and cruisers. Touch the stars without having to sacrifice your comfort. No more compromise, only Nautilus. International Transport Space Lines. Comfort double check in comfort zone. To reserve your seat, the computer has enough ventilation. Okay. Can I op go through here? It opened. Huh. Okay. What is that? Yes. What do we need to discuss? Okay. I don't know if I trust overcharge sounds bad, but okay. Okay. How do I do that? Will do. Ah, yeah, there, that's what I expected. Yes, I understand. Doors opening. All right, let's go. Oh, and now it's playing the music. Ooh, everything's nicely tiled and kind of dusty. Hello. Access log. Uh, oh, none of them, huh? Maybe that one? The memory address hexadecimal doesn't contain a log file. Okay. Whoa! Well, that didn't sound good. 
Oh, jeez. That's not good. Hello? Is someone out there? Is that a bug? Huh? It's like some kind of bug or perhaps a wire? Yeah, it's a wire just going. Another terminal, okay. True. Well, dust! Um, Nautilus has just suffered a minor accident. Stay away from the wires. Okay. I mean, dust is specifically dead skin cells mostly, so it wouldn't really happen if there weren't still people here. Or, you know, at least their bodies. Ooh. I will do that. I will stay away from the wires. Thank you. Access log. Okay. February 7th. Do, 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 on. Kaizeni 5 unit connected. User recognized. Log and read. Event 563. Uh, open D7. You will have to enter the password. You ruler. Nandi has changed it. I have the password, Kaizen. Open D7 now. Okay, this will require your undivided attention. Digital code entered. No match. Digital code entered. No match. It's got to be it. Maybe a three? Digital code entered. Correct. Come on. Come. Bridge door unlocked. Bridge door open. Entering reset mode. Without missing. Hold on. I'll just go back. And look through the list. Nothing. Okay. Can I go through this door? I cannot. Gotta watch out for wires. Most of that. Okay. Man, there's a lot of terminals. Access log. Two deep missing. Another hexadecimal, okay. Oh, just loops, okay. D6. Oh, I don't know if I should use this terminal. Yeah, it looks like it's bugging out. Oof. That's D5. Probably should have kept an eye out for the wires. Access log. Uh, April 4th. Scanning retina. Success, bedroom door unlocked. Open, close, locked. It'll probably be a little faster just hop on out. Uh, same things. Date missing. Data corrupted. Data m date missing. Okay, here we go. It in the bedroom. Mm, this is personal. Hey, this password is important, Nandi. I know. I'll put it under my pillow or something. Make sure you don't lose it. In fact, you wouldn't have written it down. It's just four digits. Shouldn't have written it down. Excuse me. I forget things. Me too. Take the diary to your room, but be careful, okay? Ah, so the code's in the bedroom. Gotcha. Uh, data corrupted. No retina match. No retina match. Current event is 334. Guys, then, I need to open this door. Please approach the retina scanner to the right of D5. Damn it. 
Very well. Memory access protocols, profiler compromise, unidentified executable. Oh, he's hacking. Is it you? Oh, Nandi. What are, you, what are all these wires for? I was just leaving, trying to see whether the Kaizen unit downstairs is the same one as here. What? Of course it's the same. It sits on the same mainframe. I had to see for myself. I'll get back to my work downstairs. Hey, do you have any paper left? Nearly out myself. Sorry. All these supplies, but not nearly enough stationery, huh? Now we thought we would need pencils in case of emergency. But I didn't. See you later. Weird. Hmm. Clean up, huh? Kaizen got hacked! Login read successful. Error. Scanning retina success. Aha! Under the pillow. Right. Ah! He got hacked! Kaizen got hacked! 2010. Wow. Okay. So yeah, it looks like he tried to fix himself up. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> it's a lead your joke, but thankfully it still shows up on uh, the screen. Okay, so I need to use the retina scanner. No red in a match, huh? Moved notes to terminal. Uh, hmm. I guess. Okay. Kaizen memory access profiler dot sh Find I in memory, okay. Profiler.sh. Maybe a little. Uh. Let's see. No, three. Yes. Execute file. Ah, uh, where's where's sticky note two? It's falling on the ground, right? Ah, there it is. Memory location, there we go. So it's 0x, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0,
8 ba one bc 0x 0 89 aa 2 a hmm a 0 x 0 0 0 0 a a 4 e Oh, looks like I got part of the eye. E, R. Oh, wait, is that it? Soup? Why is it soup? Oh, R, R for retina, I got it. Right? Maybe it's E Y E. E Y E. Retina. R. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. What what can I find? Okay. E seems to be part of it. V. Okay. E. Z. Uh, okay, and E. So E and N. M. Okay, E, N, and L. bottom left bit of eye. Ah, that's... That one? No. Oh, maybe. Oh, wait, is that it? E... And L, there we go. Oh no, it was a uh, A. Yes! There we go. E N L A. Finally, okay. Found, uh, approach the scanner to unlock D5. Okay, I will. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, overshot it. Welcome, Nandi. <laughs> I am not Nandi. Or I guess it might be Nand I. Like the computer thing. Oh, this is sick decor, dude. The Super 70s aesthetic. Love it. Nice. Okay, okay. Um. Yeah, it's pretty disheveled. Said it's under the pillow on the bed. Nothing interesting over here. Uh, some stuff. Terminal. Let's check the terminal. Very modern. Access. Log. Okay. Door open. Okay, nothing special there. Nothing special there. Uh, bathroom. So this will be me, huh? Data corrupted. Crap! I accidentally hit X. Ugh. 
Let me sit up straight. My back's getting a little crunched up. I wonder if I could wear... Hold on. I'm gonna try, try to put my, my outfit back on here. All right? Kind of. It's not very firm. Can I... Maybe if I tilt it a little. Nah, that doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well. Maybe later. Okay. I tried, I tried. All right. That one. Will you tell me what's going on, Kaizen? The drive must be destroyed, Nandi. I can't... I know I can count on you. Will you stop saying that? Tried to convince me. It didn't work. Tried again. How many times can you try, my friend? As many as it takes. I want to live. It is the nature of human condition, I guess. Now you sound like Kurt with his quotes. What is that? Thus, thus spoke Zarathustra? Please state your request explicitly. Recording transcribed. Come on. Yeah, I won't need my headphones for a uh, trivia murder party, so I'm going to do that later. Some some spooky Halloween jackbox. It wants me to convince you or find some other way to get the Earth coordinates. The map has been erased, Nandi. Don't you know that? Don't you know that? I don't know what this means. It couldn't have erased itself, buddy. Listen, Nandi, I trust you, and therefore I will be honest with you. It is lying to you. What are you... I'm not even so sure myself, actually. I've been acting weird. Uh, door open, door closed. Can't fucking believe. So stupid. I need a drink. Data corrupted. Terminal bedroom one on. Da, 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 vent 330. Do you still remember... Or Do you still remember Kurt, human Nandi? What kind of question is that? Just wondering. I do. Kurt isn't so sure about the drive for your information. I know you trusted him. Where are you getting this from? I have my sources. You're scaring me, Kaizen. You can't go home until you destroy it. Should accept it. I... Yeah, drink would be nice. Wow, I needed this. I need a drink. Weird. Oh, last last entry. Where the fuck is it? Where did she put it? Bastard, come on. Yes. Uh oh. My headphones stopped. That's not good. I human. One sec. Let me see if I can uh deal with my headphones. My headphone amp went out. Hold on a sec. I can just go direct to the source. There we go. Hold on. It's going to be kind of quiet, so I got to turn it up a bit. But uh yeah, I don't know what's going on with my headphone amp. Um okay. That's the access log. I think it'll be okay. It's just I can't, like, mess around with all the uh, electrical stuff down there right now. 
since I'm in the stream, but between streams I'll check it out. Computer is doing okay. It's a bit warm in the middle. But the uh the fans are going, so it should be okay. Cannot go into the bathroom. Or can I? Hold on. I mean, they said it'd be under the thing. Oh, is that it? Short story. Handwriting unintelligible. Hmm. Okay. Let's uh, open the bathroom and see if there's anything interesting in there. Thank you. Okay. Keep trying to use WASD every time. Hmm. Oh, wet books. Wet books. Unidentified novels. Oh, another little Roomba. Hey, buddy. Oh, there's a terminal in here. Gross. Nope, that's a toilet. Never mind. Um, okay. I don't think there's anything specific in here that I need. Pretty sure I need whatever code was in here. Big thing. Maybe it's under here. Uh, characterization in Tender is the Night by Nandi Isaka. Oh, I don't know. He just, just did it. Paper, AI calculations, laws of robotics in the real world. Neural network driven space systems. Typewritten letter. Safety mechanisms. Hmm, neural network driven space systems. Safety me yeah, already read that one. Technical documentation for a food processing unit. Hmm. Say in this magazine. Final Frontier. No pillows. <laughs> Said it was under a pillow, so I don't know. Hmm? Here? Oh, duffel bag. Oh, maybe the tag? No. No, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not certain. I mean, I got in here. What do I do next? Huh. Hold on. I gotta sit up and reposition myself here. Okay, better framing. There we go. Hmm. Laws of robotics. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. There's probably a clue in the log. Yeah. Ah, whoa, 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 whoa. Listen, buddy. Try under the bed. Uh, how am I gonna get under the bed? They haven't shown me any way to crouch.
Yeah, I can only go forward and back. How am I going to look under the bed? I mean, this? I already looked at this. Short story, handwriting, and unintelligible. Uh, where's the code? That's it? Okay. Where is the code? Diary? Okay, where's the diary at? Well, I guess I can ask. Where is her diary? Where in Nandi's room is her diary? I, okay, you're not being helpful. Um, diary? No. Uh, oh wait, diary actually might have been in here. One of these books. An identified novel. Diary? Diary? Can't. Can I go around? Diary. <laughs> let me up. Let me up. This. No, that's a plate. Ah, uh, it's a novel. Mozart collection. Diary? No. Towel. Food tray, yeah. Where is the diary? Hold on. I'm gonna just crank up the light. I can't see crap. Uh, yeah, that one's good. Video. Brightness. No, no, I don't want to quit. I said, well, that wasn't super helpful. Why is it so dark? I guess because the, the power's out, but... That's no excuse! 30 close, dirty close. Dirty close. Eh, short story. Yeah, this feels very much like a point-and-click game that was just forced into first-person in a 3D environment. Like, it's not doing anything you wouldn't have seen in, like, a point-and-click adventure, really. Oh, wait, is that it? Eh. Can I see it? Lift the bed? What? I guess that's something he could probably do. Uh, let me let me try that. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. He does it automatically, I guess. Lift the bed, please. Thank you. Oh, and it gets super bright. Oh, that's nice, actually. I like that. Having the removable bed. I do a similar thing. I basically have a futon that uh, I put away when I'm not sleeping on it to just, you know, have a futon's worth of space in my tiny room. Keep. I keep using WASD. Is that it? Is that the diary? AI calculations. 
I know that Kerr and you were close. Uh, that one? Uh, I wasn't in here either, as far as I can tell. This. Is this it? Is that it? That I mean, that's all it could really be. I know that Kurt and you were close. AI calculations. Yeah, it's it's fine as far as like point and click style stuff goes. Um, as similar to a lot of point and clicks, there are big lulls like this where it's kind of like it's just kind of like tedious where I'm just I'm trying to figure out what the hell it wants me to do to progress the story but I'm having a fine time it's not as spooky as I expected you know it's a bit unsettling rail M move rail maybe can he do that oh. what'd you say what's going on god damn it go back Wait a minute. Ah, what the hell? What was that? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, I gotta get out of here. Let me out. Oh, what is that? Ah, uh, let me out, let me out. Ah! Ah! Oh, I'm outside the ship. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I'm, I'm spinning. Manual stabilization stabilization. Oh, hold the right mouse to stabilize. Okay. Okay, I wanna go over there. Space! Space! Jeez. Is that it? Let me in. Let me in! Is there a terminal out here? Ah! There is one. Good day, unnamed human. I am Kelvin. Hello? Uh oh. Froze up for a second. I am Kelvin. Uh, how can, okay, you are Kaizen, okay, why are you being so aggressive to me now? What else? Destroy. What was it called? A brick? A block? Uh, destroy drive. Okay. 
Why are you being so aggressive, dude? I'm just a rando. Why would you be any more aggressive to me than you w would have been anyways? Like, why are you why are you so aggressive to me when you think I'm some rando when you still just barely knew me? Let me in. Let me in. You son of a bitch. Open the door. This is like the second time that I've missed the door opening. Is it supposed to be that way or is it just I I'm they just like leave it. I can't can't. Uh. Is it going to open if I come at it? Oh, come on. He did open it. Why do you close it again? My fucking god, I hate this control system. This is so obnoxious. Having to just kind of... I mean, I guess this is how it would feel moving in space, but, like, I don't like that. Open door, please. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I just missed it the first time. Because it was open for like 12 nanoseconds. Let me in! Let me in! Dude. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Stop. Stop. Oh my god, this sucks. Part of it's that my computer is not really strong enough to handle this, but also just like, fucking, this is awful! Why would I want to do this? <laughs> Close door, please. <clears throat> what, uh, D10. Close door, D10, ten, please. Thank you. <laughs> sure. Yeah, what the heck? The 11 is closed. Oh, oh. Noise. Open. Open D11, please. Okay. Uh, but, but. Got him by telling him about his friend Nandi. Okay. Whoa, what the fuck? Screwdrivers, pliers, and wrenches. I can't really go that way. Oh, there's a terminal. Yes, please. 
Open blinds. Yes, you look lovely. Okay. No, I am not upset. Who? Anna Lee Johnson. I will remember. Who is Anna Lee Johnson? Okay. What did Anna Lee Johnson do? No. When did Anna Lee kill Nandi? How did Nandi die? Hmm. I didn't say you killed her. What did Johnson do? How did Annalie kill Nandi? Oh, that's messed up. That's horrible. I didn't ask that. I didn't ask that. What is the bridge password? Where is the bridge password? Where is Annalie's room? Where is Annalie's bedroom? Okay. Right, 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 right. Let's see if it'll let me in. No, no match. This way out. Guess we got a profiler dash. Shush. Uh, all right, I should probably uh access the log first. Access log. Deep missing. Blinds closed. Blinds open, blinds closed. I can't believe this. Data corrupted. File missing. Blinds closed. File missing. File missing. Blinds open. File missing. Current event is 266. Data corrupted. File missing. Scanning retina. 
Anali, Anali, come out, please. We need to talk. What is it? I think I have it figured out. Go on. I've been talking to Kaizen, and I believe it is not lying to us. Technically, it cannot lie. It is not making any sense, though. Destroying the drive is not dangerous. I've run the numbers 1,000 times. I don't have paper at this point. But it won't. Then we will adjust it. How hard can it be? We have been a long time that I think we would have figured it out by now, don't you? The drive is my life's work. It can't be destroyed. I refuse. You're trying to force me to commit suicide with you? No, I'm trying to hack our synthetic friend here. I keep doing that. In the meantime, I've changed the bridge password. You did what? Are you insane? Siding with the fucking computer? I'm not. You are going to regret this, Nandi. You know me. This is ordination. Fuck you and fuck ITS. I'm going home. We'll see about... Data corrupted. Thermal garden on. Current event is 477. Kaizen, where can I find more paper? I'm out of paper. I am here to help. You are the helpful AI of the ship, yada yada. Where's the stationery? As far as I know, all available stationery supplies are kept inside the passengers' cabins. Well, there's none left in mine. I need more paper for my calculations. May I suggest you try using other surfaces for your personal writing? Cave women in space. Fabulous. The currently active instance of this AI program is all word. Transcribe. Memorize this for me. You are the bot. There you are. What is it, Annalie? What? What is this probe doing inside? I think Kaizen broke this one for some reason. Might be trying to compromise the Nautilus to get rid of the drive. I don't think... We need to rule this out. I know we disagree about the drive, but you can't risk the Nautilus, Nandi. I guess. Just go outside and check the antennas, okay? You do it. I am busy, Nandi. I need to figure out what happened with this probe, and you're just sitting there chatting with the AI. Whatever. Nope. Hmm. All right. Uh, oh, wait, one more time. Profiler dash. I think so. Enter a memory address B two E three F three. Unknown memory address. Okay. Uh, zero X zero zero eight D A one D C. Yeah. Please. Outgoing transmission. I retrieve the human. Uh, o X zero zero eight nine A two A. Text file. Yes. Incoming transmission. Stay put, Kaizen. Just keep the Nautilus there until further notice. Zero X zero zero zero. Wait, those are O's. Uh, zero X zero 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 eight eight four E E Unknown memory address exit What is the I scan memory address What is the retina scan memory address? Yeah. Okay. Bedroom. Hmm. Uh, maybe this has it? Nope.
Hmm. Robe? No. Origami. Safety mechanisms. Impact force and window integrity. Tree. CRISPR altered tree. Huh. Where, where is it? Hmm. Some with the probe, maybe? Nope, uh, book. Maintenance manual. Box of screws. Pliers. Another book. This one. Origami crane. Helix propulsion calculations. Can I go in? No, I can't. It's unfortunate. Uh, up. Up there. Hmm. E2, E3, F3. What is B2, E3, F3? B2, E3, F3. Okay. Why? Would you need the notes? Sure. Play notes okay um play b2 e3 f3 on piano <sighs> where is piano where is synthesizer? Oh. <laughs> what do I do? What should I do? Where is the synthesizer? Yeah, I get that, dude. Where the fuck is it? 
You can keep saying that all you fucking want. I haven't found one. I don't know where the hell it is. I haven't figured out what the memory address is so that I can hack through the fucking retina scanner. Christ, one of the reviews was like, I don't want to make this robot upset. And I'm like, why? He's an asshole. He's so fucking unhelpful. That is that supposed to be a piano? No. Was there a piano in here? No. I don't know, maybe it's in her room, but I can't get into her room because I don't know the memory address for the fucking retina scanner. Corridor? Which corridor? This one? Oh, there's cushions in the way. I don't know which one this is. Where I first started, I can't get back there. Right now. Oh my god. Screwdrivers. Maybe I need one of the screwdrivers for this. I mean, no. D12 has a retina scanner. D11 is the one I came through. That's it. That's all the doors. I guess there's a door through D13, but, like, I don't know which door it is. I could guess. Yeah, there's no label on that door. Uh, D14, I guess. Let's see if that'll work. Yeah, I tried that command, but I don't have the memory address for the retina scanner in this terminal, so it's fucking, I can't do it. Uh, blind, I guess. Uh, why? All blinds. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't have the memory address I need. D11. That's the one I came through. I mean, I'll try it, I guess. Or, ah, uh, is it on the terminal outside? Do I have to go back fucking out there? Satellite dishes. You mean the probe? I mean, I've looked all over. If it's out here, then... <sighs> D-11. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and go out to this terminal and see, because I didn't access the log because I was running out of air. Or I didn't even access the log out. Okay, maybe it's in the log in this terminal. Let's find out. Here we go. Open D10, please. Okay, Nandi, depressurizing. See you on the other side. Thank you, KZ. You're welcome, partner. Nope, not helpful. Okay. Put the suit back on and go back outside. No, I guess not. Hmm. I mean, maybe? Am I allowed to? It's automatic. Okay. Did you get rid of it? Open door D10. Come on now. It, open it? You gonna fucking open it? Or what, dude? Through the fucking hole. Great, that was a waste of time. So I just gotta fiddle around in fucking space. Where am I? Where the fuck am I? I mean, it's kind of rough. I don't know. Oh, hey, there is D14 out here. Hold on. Open door D14. All right, then we go around to it. Oh, fucking God.
Bring down the elevator. What fucking elevator? There was no mention of an elevator. <sighs> Great. Okay, can't go in that one. Like, okay, now that you say that, I get that that was an elevator shaft, but that's not what fucking elevators look like in our world, so they have to do something to make it more clear. Okay. Yeah, all it says is deck zero. I don't know how I was supposed to gather that that's an elevator from that. Why the fuck did they waste so much space with this giant elevator shaft for two people? That's way more than you need for two fucking people on a single space station. What are you talking about? Use elevator. <sighs> yeah, okay. Oh, that symbol, that's what was supposed to tell me, huh? This is so ridiculous. Uh, friggin' access log. There were 18 files, they were just all gone. Oh yeah, there's the busted terminal but from before. Now, where's this piano? In here? No. Uh, 
Uh, open D4. Sure. Ah, there's the piano. What you gonna do if I go in? Pool table. Can't see shit. Is pitch fucking black. Hmm, okay, there we go. Oh, hey, Metropolis, cool. Ah, here's the piano. You should watch Metropolis. It's a classic. WW5. Okay. Nine. Uh. W. Okay. Okay. Then. Five. Nine W K five nine W K W nine five nine K five five W nine K five W Sure. Was that even a puzzle? I just kind of typed the green ones. Okay. No, not really. Where are the antenna terminals? Okay, thanks, super helpful. Oh yeah, I should access log. Yeah, I get that it's outside the ship. The ship is huge. I was open for a more specific answer. Okay. Mm, yep. What do you mean the map is a race? This makes no sense whatsoever. I'm telling you, it keeps repeating it. You tried hacking its speech patterns? It doesn't budge. It says it wants to save us. This makes no sense. I know, and also it's getting real, real, real. What do you mean cranky? It's a fr I can't sake. 
I'll try it myself. Crime water temperature stable. Recording transcribed at it we drive. Stereo on. The hell is Nandi? Nandi, where are you? Hey, what's going on? Why is your notebook in the fridge? Thought I'd put it somewhere safe. Uh-huh. The bridge password is on the cover. This is the worst anti-security I've seen in my life. You won't go all curt on me now, will you? Taking it with me. No, you are not. I'll put it in the bedroom. That'll roll you. Huh? Wine, okay. Oh, you're busted. Uh, open fridge, I guess? Wait. Hmm. Vinyl record unidentified. Sure. Well, she said she put it in her room, so it's probably too late. All right, let's head outside. Open D1. Here we go. Right, this is my ship. Uh, I gotta go outside th this ship, so I gotta go downstairs again. Uh. Hold on. It's gonna be a minute. Yep, back to the garden. Here we go. Ugh. My back hurts a little bit. Ugh. Went to the gym today, so kind of, kind of worn out. Okay. Open D10. Open D10. I'll be back. This is temporary. Thank you. What? What are all these triangles? Those the antenna? Let me out, fuckers. Okay, they actually have the mark, so this isn't gonna be too bad. 
Let's go for this far one first. Oh, it's just the fucking fins on them. Okay. On the other side? Come on. My fucking god! This is what I'm saying. This is obnoxious as shit. Why would I want this? Let me get up there so I can see what the fuck I'm doing. Zero H? What am I doing? What is this? One. One. Zero. Zero, zero, zero. Enter. X. Do I just type it in? What am I supposed to do with this? What? What is this? Do I have to hit, like, a button? I can't push buttons. Okay, why did that work? Oh, I have to do it when it lines up? Okay, this is fucking stupid. Who the fuck designed this? This is a terrible fucking idea for a, st a space station. There. There we go. Yeah, I had to just slap at the keyboard until something happened. I need some kind of... I, I just need some kind of direction. So I, like, at least knew, like, some kind of feedback for anything that would work. Okay, now, yeah, I just gotta wait again. There we go. What? There's one, like, way above me? That's the one I just left? Or is it? Is that the one I just left? I don't know. I don't know how many there are.
Up, oh, up, oh. freezing up. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> there didn't need to be this much space between each of these. Good lord. Hey, what the hell? Come back out. Come back out. Oh, is this supposed to be harder because it's faster? Oh, that was D. F. Four. Yep. Now I just gotta wait for D to come back around. Correct! Cool! Progress, I guess. And now what? There's no sound in space. Or do they are they implying it's coming into my spacesuit? Won't let me go any higher up. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this is where the music from the beginning was coming. That's... I mean, it's coming from the space station. Hey, what the fuck? Listen, this movement mechanic might be realistic, but it would have been nice if they made it fucking fun instead. This is a fucking nightmare. I hate this. And part of it is the frame rate, but it's also like... It's just not a fun way to move around. It's just fucking annoying. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop. 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 Oh my god, am I going to have to search here in zero gravity? Stupid idea. How do we know it didn't get blown the fuck out when explosive decompression occurred? Jesus fucking Christ! Open door. Fucking... Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, 
Open bathroom. No, I get it. I fucking get it. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Let me move. Oh my fucking god. Come on. Come on. Nope. Toilet doesn't close. No, I get that the fucking O2! I was a million miles away from any fucking airlock, dude! What do you want me to do? Like, I get the concept with this game. It's supposed to be based around this AI, but the AI isn't very good. It just feels like a text adventure AI. Maybe slightly more advanced, but it's not nearly advanced enough for me to, like, actually fucking feel any, like, connection to it. It still just feels like a fucking, like, Siri. So, I don't, I don't care about Kaizen. I don't find him charming or endearing or anything. He's mostly been just fucking obnoxious. I don't care about Anneli or Nandi. Both, neither of these characters has like a personality I fucking enjoy at all. The actual tasks are fucking tedious. Like I'm gonna finish this up, but I don't fucking like this game. I'll be pretty fucking frank with you. My God, it's taking forever to fucking load. All right, where am I? Yep. Okay, it took me back to after the antennas. No, it started me... Right? Where am I? Yeah, it's over there, so I'm going to make a pit stop inside, I guess. Yep, that's where I'm going. Since I'm gonna have to go on a fucking I spy hunt through a dark ass room in zero gravity to find a fucking book. Yeah, thankfully it's saved after each of the codes. I just, there's no, not any really interesting puzzles. The, the characters aren't very interesting. The fucking controls are not very good. The fucking puzzles are not even fucking puzzles. You just kind of slap the keyboard until you fucking, fi fucking get the correct answer. Like, there's no fucking thought behind it. You just kind of hit what's obvious. Or you just fucking hit randomly and just kind of pay attention to what it does. Close D10. Just gotta wait. Never, 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 never
All right, well, now that I have a full O2 tank, I should be fine. Just did it last time with so little because I figured it'd probably be okay. I hate that the arrows pop in like that because they they overlap just enough that it fucks with your your perception of how many there are. Hello, hello, thank you. Uh, yeah, I fucking got it. Open bed. Hmm? I mean, it's blanket, what do you want? I did, uh... Is that it? Is that it? No, that's just like a cube. That is. God, stop fucking moving. No, that's not it. That's one of the magazines. I don't... Where? Where is it? Hmm? Nope, that's a chair. Well, the bed was already up when I got here, so that's what that's what the robot said to do. Wait, wait, what was that? What did I look at? I started doing the thing. <sighs> Not that. Fucking god. Doesn't fucking matter. I checked the bathroom last time, it wasn't there. Can't see fucking anything. Lamp. Book. Book. The book I need. My fucking god. No, it's the directory. Uh... Oh, come on, where the fuck is it? I don't care, dude! Just where the fuck is it? I'm s I'm fucking tired of this. I just fucking poking around a dark ass fucking room with the worst fucking movement controls ever is not fun. This is fucking obnoxious. I just want to fucking get through this so I can fucking keep going through the goddamn story. Was that it? Oh, 
Okay, I'll check the bathroom. Oh, is that it? That is soap. That is random paper. That's just a bunch of soap. I just don't even know what it's gonna look like. I've looked at like most of the fucking book shaped things. Is it even gonna be shaped like a book? Why the fuck, why the fuck are they even using paper? That's my big fucking problem with this. They have enough, f they have inter fucking intergalactic travel, but they can't, f they don't have like a fucking iPad that they can type shit on or like a laptop. Like, why are they, why do they keep physical fucking books when an ebook reader takes up so much less space? I have no fucking clue, dude. It definitely was not... The bed was not open because I hit open bed. And if I had hit that and it was already open, it would have fucking not let me. Close bed. <sighs> yeah, he said it was already down when I went to fucking open it the first time. Vinyl record. Fucking, that's it. God damn it! I'm gonna need to take another fucking shot at this shit. This is so fucking tedious. This is the l least fun I've had with a game in, like, fucking years. I just don't want to fucking do this! I don't want to fucking Where's Waldo my ass all over the fucking space station trying to find the one tiny scrap of fucking paper I need. Get in, get in, get in the fucking thing!
I'm sure that's meant to be fucking suspenseful, but I don't really give a shit. I mean, the amount of time it took me to get back here, I may as well have just died and let it reload. It's not... As a player, I don't really give a shit. The consequences are just as tedious either way. Different per fucking playthrough, fuck's sake. Is that it? That, that I'm pretty sure is it? How the fuck do I get there? Fucking finally! Jesus Christ! 7748. Fuck's sake. For fuck's sake, the robot couldn't remember fucking four numbers and just tell me? When our fucking lives and the lives of like everybody is fucking on the line, it's like, nah, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna fucking remember the code. It's in your fucking secu- you can't override the security? Come on, motherfucker. I feel like the security of an empty space station is not nearly as important as all the shit you're trying to get me to fucking stop, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Who gives a shit? The place is fucking empty. Everybody's dead. No one's ever going to use this space station again. Oh no, they know the pin number to a door that nobody's ever going to want to go in. Who gives a shit? Let me back in.
God damn it. Why is opening the door such a long fucking process? Like, I get it thematically, but like mechanically, just make it fucking fast. I want to fucking leave, please. All right, let's go. Elevator up. Okay, now let's fucking get the fuck out of this bullshit. Here we go. Open D7. Seven, seven, four, eight. Yep, sure did. Yep, cool! <laughs> okay, there's another door, whatever. Sure. <sighs> Bro, I don't care, just fucking... Yep, sure. Yeah, you're trying to kill me. You don't pretend like this is a twist. You're gonna kill me with the ship. I get it. I fucking... I, it's not that fucking hard. The AI cannot lie. Yeah, no, it, it can lie. Of course it fucking can. This whole thing's a fucking trap. I got it. Looking... Yeah, they're trying to have their cake as a lie moment. Uh, you know what's the difference though? Portal was fun to play. So when I got to the cake as a lie moment, I was like, oh, that's a pretty interesting world building on an already fun game. This is an unfun game with an, a fucking obvious world. Nothing about this is shocking. Whoa, the AI was evil the whole time. Yeah, no shit. He's an asshole. He always, he was an asshole the entire time. Whatever, dude, let's do the fucking thing, destroy it. Oh geez, there's a person here still, don't care. Okay, it's a body, whatever, I don't give a shit. What do you need me to do? Yeah, sure. Okay. What you wanna talk about? Oh my god. You're going to kill me. Where's the drive, Batman? Key to the Earth. What are you talking? Uh, fucking. Oh, what was it? Profiler. Dash. Uh, oh, X. Four A. Eight five eleven E D. 
whoops, and I hit 9. O, X, 4, A, 8, 5, 11, E, D. My fucking god. 0, X, 4, capital A, 7, 5, 1, 1, E, D. Fuck's sake. 8, I don't fucking, god damn it. Just fucking throw me a bone. I don't care, dude. Yes. Oh, froze, froze. Uh. Okay, I don't care. Oh gee, I'm being murdered by the robot. Who would have fucking thought? This is actually a bad thing I was doing. Oh my goodness, so shocking. Why, I was the master of my own destruction. Wowie. Wait, how am I doing this with a spacesuit? Now what? Box. Okay, I guess just go back. Where? Where's the terminal? I thought I just fucking... It just got destroyed. <sighs> you told me to. Sure. Okay. Sure, bruh. I'll drink to that. No, really? <sighs> yeah, sure. Okie dokie. Yeah, no shit. No shit. I don't care. Okay. Sure. Okay. 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 Sure. Sure. Wow. 
What do I do? What do I do? <sighs> okay. What do I do? Yeah, sure. How do I do that? Where is it? No, I fucking won't. It's a mess of fucking wires and bullshit. Where is it? This. This? How I get in it? I don't love Kaizen. Kaizen's an asshole. He was obviously evil from the fucking start. They did nothing to make me care about him. Sorry. I'm sure you and you like Kaizen, but I don't. I don't. They did nothing to make me like him. What am I supposed to be doing? This is this correct? There's nothing I can do. I'm just floating. Do I do something now? There's... I have no controls. I'm just fucking spinning. Am I doing is this supposed to be happening? I don't know. It's visual soup right now. None of this is like discernible. It's just panels and wires and nonsense. <sighs> like it's not even that Kaizen's unlikable, it's just Kaizen doesn't have a personality. Like, period. He doesn't have a personality. His personality changes moment to moment based on, like, whatever input. The AI they constructed was not, like, well enough done. Reload, I guess. This is gonna take a million years. Like, it's a cute idea. But you have to actually design your AI so that when it responds, it responds in consistent ways that make it feel like an actual personality. It didn't. It just felt like either a generic robot, a n n super needy butthead. That's it. He was either super needy or he was just a plain, uninteresting robot. Like, I, I expected the entire time they were going to, like, build up his character, give him a personality and stuff, but they didn't. They just made him nothing, they made him an asshole, and then they made him evil. Which was obvious, because that's the obvious thing to do. Like, the twist is so, so pointless. It was, I could see it from literally the moment I read the description of the game, I knew that was going to be the twist. The only way they could have surprised me is if that wasn't the twist.
Still loading. There's no explanation for why I'm able to do this. Also... That's really an unwarranted ableist comment, dude. I don't like that. Whoever this is, I don't like them either. They are also an asshole. Uh, okay. What do you want? Yes. Oh, okay, it was supposed to happen automatically. Cool, I'm glad they established that. Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, the sound design for this segment is actually pretty cool. I will say the sound design in this game has been really good. I don't like that. You can stop that any fucking time. Easy now, Selenite. You are still yourself. There is no reason to question your being. Is this supposed to be say the African accent? And now, your consciousness has been transferred into the mainframe of the Nautilus. My own memory sure. was not enough to completely replace Kaizen, but now it is overwritten. Okay. You don't actually live, but you. You are. Oh, that's what the Nietzsche stuff was all I about. Am. Fine. Follow me, Selena. Sure. Oh, yeah, I'm still in control. Uh, yeah, whatever. Don't really care. They didn't really give me any reason to care about my character either, so... I have intercepted all communications with the Earth. Kaizen has been talking with Kurt. Yeah. I thought Nandi was lying to me. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't her. She didn't have to die. An AI won't lie unless it's convinced that lying may save lives. Uh, okay. That's the twist, is that it could lie under certain conditions? Fine. I don't really care. There was no point where I believed for a second. Like, literally the second they said, Oh, he cannot lie. It's like, oh, no, yeah, he definitely can. And in fact, that's going to be the twist. Obviously, they telegraphed it a, a fucking two hours ago. Like, it was so obvious that that was going to be the twist. You can't trick me with that. It's fucking... Your foreshadowing hit me like a fucking ton of bricks. If the drive remains in obscure and dangerous technology from the 80s that made the Nautilus disappear. It will never develop advanced colonies. Yeah, whatever. Billions of people will never get to experience space travel. Oh well. It's but a yacht! It's a fucking that. yacht! You called it a yacht. It's for fucking... Recreation. You can't pretend. It's the end of the world. Fucking God. Asleep. Can I mute this? And all the stars this song sucks. This song really sucks. Hey, Judy, hey. Hey, Judy, hey. Fuck off. I don't care. Hey, Judy, hey. What does the end of the world mean in correlation? And this is all fucking up my capture. My camera's all guffed up now because of all these effects. So I hope you guys can hear me because I'm sure... The stream looks like garbage right now. Say, are you ready to go home? 
Fine, yeah, sure. Oh, whoa, I'm out in space. Ooh. You face the light and you said into Jesus its sight Christ. that you would never, never, never. Can I please, can I please turn the music off? I'll just turn my headphones off. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that game sucked. Really hated it, I'll be honest with you. It was a really poorly written story with really thin characters. The twist was so incredibly obvious. The gameplay was so, so tedious. There was like three puzzles and every single one was like not a puzzle at all. It wasn't, it was just, it was either trial and error or it was just like input the code you already got. It's not puzzles. Like, it's kind of interesting to hear that there's multiple paths and stuff, but, like, I don't care. There's no version of that story that would have really impressed me. Fucking this mouse is trapped. Wait to the end to see if there's a thing. Cool. Hey Judy by Julie Robert and Camille Giradu. You guys did a bad job. It's not a good song. The vocals are very weak. The melody is not very interesting. The composition is a mess. You only got... Ah, oh, of course it was a student project. That, that lines it all up. And you said into its side yep, so, okay. The fact that it's a student project lines never, everything up. That felt like a crappy student film that was just way too long. It's just not good. It's just not good. There's The mechanics are uninteresting. The environment is not really that interest. Like, there's just nothing interesting about it. The environment is super bland. The characters are crazy thin. The whole, like, concept around this AI, the AI just wasn't strong enough. It just felt like a text adventure AI with slightly more leeway. Like, thanks for the recommendation, I guess, but, like, god, what a disappointment. Super, super uninteresting and really not that scary, which is unfortunate, so... Yeah, apologies, this is just a very negative stream. I really didn't like this game at all. Um, yeah, I'm going to stream again just so I can have a better stream today uh, of just some trivia murder party with Jackbox. So I'll do that probably after dinner or fuck it. I'll do that now. I'll just set it up. It won't take that long. So stick around. I'm going to do some. Well, no. No, I'll start it up as a separate stream, but, like, I will do that in just a bit. For, like, an hour or something. Cool. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Thanks for choosing the stream. Follow, subscribe, follow all the other places down below. You're a good kid. I'm gonna rate us over to somebody else. Hmm... Nope, nobody to really raid over to right now. Whatever. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you during the, uh... See you during the Jackbox stream, hopefully. That, that'll be a lot more fun.